Hello. Husky's back again with more Edmonton Oilers GM mode franchise mode commentary. <coughs> Excuse me. Last video we kicked off. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. Kicked off year one. Made a couple of moves. Uh, brought in Richard, Ricard, Raquel? Ricard, right? Ricard, Raquel. Decent player. Three goals, nine assists, 12 points, seven, 19 games. Pretty good. Uh, we also traded Jordan Eberle for a first and uh, Vernon Fiddler. Oh, hey, he's five points in 19 games. That's not bad for a fourth liner. Considering the guys he's playing with. Um, the only line that's struggling is Benoit Pouliot and Patrick Maroon. But at the same time, they're only minus ones. So and we're very early in the season. Uh, the Sakara griba pairing might have to get swapped out. Just because we're actually we're we're starting off as a playoff team, like we're second in the division. I don't I didn't anticipate being a playoff team. I'm still debating what I want to do with this team because Milan Lucic will will get me a first round pick. <clears throat> it's just a matter of if I really want to move that first round pick or do I want to save Lucic and trade him for a player instead. Now, I don't anticipate this team keeping up the pace that they were going on there. Because my bottom six is pretty much... I mean, it's really not that good. But... I just... I've been playing a Chicago Blackhawks GM mode. And their bottom six is garbage. Because this game doesn't accurately depict, you know, how real life goes. Obviously, with overalls. Tanner Caro is a 74. He's on the third line. Uh, Richard Panic's an 81. He's on the first line. Like, it's... The roster's all over the place. But I won the President's Trophy. Now, how much of that is... Um... Reiner's a defenseman, right? No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Um, I don't know how much of that is, you know, goaltending, because we had a 90 overall goalie in Crawford. I don't have a 90 overall goalie in Edmonton. We have an 85 overall goalie with a 81 overall backup. And we're 18, 10, and 2 to start. Like, this is... This is a rather impressive start considering our team. And the fact that we don't have a defenseman above 86 overall as well. So, in theory, this team should, well, suck. But I guess the combination of McDavid and Lucic being a 92 and an 88, are more than enough to carry this team, I suppose. Raquel playing on the second line with... I think he's playing with... Um, Zach Cassian. And, I mean, Leon Dreisaitl is a beast. I love me some Dreisaitl. He's, he turns into an absolute beast in this game. God, man. If I can get a, like, a 90 overall sniper to play with McDavid on that first line, phew, man... That's going to be disgusting. Or even if I can get him a power forward like Blake Wheeler or Mark Stone. Both of those guys would be good fits. But I'm not entirely sure what to do with this team. We're 22, 14, and 2. I anticipated needing three or f two or three years to be competitive, but... 38 games in, Lucic has 32 goals, 7 or 32 points. Pff, McDavid is 32, Semin is 29. So, I mean, we're not really getting point production. It says we're a solid team, but we're not giving up goals is what it seems like. So if I check out my goaltender, yeah, Talbot is a 240 and Emery has a 228. So I mean, our defense is really what's holding us together here, which I am astounded by. Are there any rookie skaters in the lineup? Oh, oh, hmm. Chris Russell has 22 points as a defenseman, a two-way defenseman. Five-star defense, and he's got 22 points. Dreisaitl is 22, Raquel is 21. I mean, that's not bad. Who did I trade to Anaheim? Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins has 27 points in 39 games, but he's also a minus 10. Because I think he's playing with Garb. No, he's playing with probably Silverberg and... I don't know who he's playing with, but they're not doing very well. Which is good, because I think I have their third round back. And who did I trade? New Jersey, right? Eberle. 
Everybody has 24 points in 38 games, but he's a minus 12. He has 10 goals. But that, aside from their first line, the team's really not that good. Which is good. Keep sucking. I want that first round pick. Although, Corey Schneider is winning them games. So they're probably a playoff team right now. That doesn't bode well for my first round picks, because I, ideally I wanted a high first round pick, but I'm third in the division, tied for second, and they are in the Metro. They're tied for second as well. They have 46 points. How many do we have? 46 points. That's the Jets. 46 points. There we go. I mean, at least Anaheim is sucking, so their third round pick will be decent, but... I can't believe we're fourth in the conference at 22-14-2 with this roster. Giving up 96 goals. I mean, we're giving up 2.5 a game. We have 6 power play goals. We have a 6% power play. <laughs> Holy shit. But our penalty kill is 83%. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta change it properly. 6%. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. All right. Let's let's see if I can fix that. <clears throat> That's what I think the power play suffers the most when you don't have a solid like defense to score goals. Because I mean, my forward core isn't terrible, but my D core is not offensive at all. I mean, Sakara is an offensive defense, and where's Sakara? He's on the first pairing. Probably should switch their hands. Um, should I put some? Should I put Nurse in there? Does he have a better shot? He technically does, so we'll put Nurse in there. <coughs> Man, I just throat not liking me right now. I can't believe we have a six percent power play. Like I don't understand what else to do there. I mean. All right, so let's look here. So Simmons an 84, Cassian's an 82, Raquel's an 85, Dreisaitl's an 84, Lucic is an 89. Like, this team shouldn't be doing well. This this third line's struggling a bit. I might have to put Vernon Fiddler on that third line. Actually, I'm gonna put Latestu on that third line. Cause Latestu's got good defensive stats regardless. Put Hendricks with, I'm not gonna try to say his name, and Fiddler. So two grinders and a power forward. Cause how's that? That fourth line was doing really well, actually. I don't pull has five goals. Maroon has seven. Dry title is eight. Zach Cassian is eight. Zach Cassian shooting at 15%. Lucci shooting at 14. Seven shooting at 13. So I mean we're getting We're getting some pretty consistent scoring, which I'm surprised that we're getting scoring from Chris Russell, who's our second defenseman. He's got 22 points. 1%, 1%, 7%, 2%, 7%. So we're getting no goal scoring from our defense, which, I mean, makes sense. I'm actually going to swap Russell and Sakara. I want Nurse to play so that he could possibly get a, a nice little ratings boost. I don't really see the need to change anything, man. I want to check my AHL team, though. I'm still, I'm on the fence about trading Lucic, man. Because if I were to trade Lucic... I would want to get somebody back who's like 21 or 22 and is a sniper. Taylor Beck has 24, Pujarvi has 23, Pujarvi, Pujarvi, I think I'm saying it's right, it's Pujarvi. Lander is 23. I have a couple of guys down here that could be useful. <coughs> Pujarvi will be useful probably next season. I don't have a defense. How is uh, Griffin Reinhardt doing? He's a minus six in 25 games. That's not very... Probably should swap him with somebody better, but... It's okay. Alright, let's send to the trade deadline, and then I'll look over... <clears throat> God damn it, man. My throat is just... I had a hockey tournament this weekend, so... I spent a lot of time yelling. It's usually what happens if you lose every game you play. So this, this two-month stretch here is really going to determine how I go about attacking the trade deadline. Because if we struggle even a little bit, I'm going to sell. I'm going to try to get Lucic moved for either a first like a high first-round pick, or I'm going to move him for that young, highly-touted sniper that will either progress quickly, or has already progressed and is in that like 22 to 25 range. So that his prime will be when I anticipate competing for a cup. 
because years one and two I don't really anticipate being a cup contender. Shit, I didn't even think we'd be a playoff team, but we're starting to kind of come back to normal here. I think it was only a matter of time before our goaltending caught up to us and our inability to score throughout the bottom six, or our defense for that matter. I'm going to really need there to be a good free agent defenseman year one. Because forwards are usually easy to get. 26, 22, and 3. So that's what, 52? That's 55 points. Another loss. So we're pretty much, we're almost, we're, we're 500 with overtime losses. We're really struggling now. 25, 20, or 26, 25, and 3. We 26, 26, and 3. Yep. Yeah, this is, we've come, we've scored two goals in four games. There's our bye week, see if we can beat Chicago. See what Chicago's record is, because they're real hit and miss, too. 30, 22, and 5, so they're not doing terrible. And we beat them. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. I don't know where to go with this, man. I mean, we're obviously not a playoff team right now. But what's to stop this team from hitting that October-November run that we had and squeaking into the playoffs? And then the next question comes, who do I draft in the first round? Or like, do I go for a, a big stud defenseman? Or do I go for a forward? I think it makes sense to go for a defenseman like Callan Foot or Timothy... This, the, the Scandinavian dude. Alright, so where are we sitting? Traded lines in two days. We're 30, 30, and 3. We have 63 points. We're on the outside looking in. We're only one point behind the Canucks for a playoff spot. So let's look what we're, what are we looking at here? But we're one point out of the division spot. I'm assuming we're, we're only, only two points out of a playoff spot sitting at 30, 30, and three. We've gotten exactly, our goal to, our goal scoring is way down. Our power play any better? No, it's still 8%. <laughs> Let's see All right. So we're 63 games in, McDavid has 52 points. His 12 goals, that's it? I mean, he's not a scorer, and I don't expect him to be a scorer. Plus, when Lucic has 24 and Semin has 24, I mean, that's 48 goals on your line. It's just pretty impressive. Ricard Raquel is struggling. I think that's his line, though. I mean, he's playing with Dreisaitl and fucking Zach Cassian, who's got 11 goals. But Zach Cassian is not an offensive-minded guy. Okay, I think Raquel's gonna progress regardless, so he's he's pretty much he's he's not going anywhere. I've got him for six years at three point eight million. That's it's a wonderful deal to have him on. What about my defense? How are we looking defensively? Sakara, Russell. Grab is a minus twenty one. So even moving Russell with Griba, that hasn't worked. I'm sure that's got something to do with my Bottom six guys, really. Maroon, Pouliot, that, that line is really struggling. Just those two guys. I mean, I put Latestu there, but he's only a minus one. Um, I'm at 13 minutes. I'm going to go see if I can... See what I can... We'll poke around the trade market, see what's there. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people wanting Milan Lucic. I can't imagine they won't. Plus, he's making a crap ton of money, isn't he? He's making six million dollars, I and mean, that's not terrible for an 89. And he's putting, uh, he's got 51 points. But if I could move him, who's really struggling that wants him? Philadelphia, Pittsburgh struggling well. Toronto, see, Toronto doesn't want him. Toronto trying to sell. Looking at my own team. Dummy. They're probably not even interested in giving away picks. Not early picks at least. Um William Nylander is buried in the minors. He's 20 over mm. I'm actually gonna try to get William Nylander, but not for Lucic. What do you want to trade? 
for William Nylander. William Nylander is 20 years old, and he kind of... You want defense? I don't have defense. I mean, I kind of do. Who do I have to resign? I have to resign Chris Russell. Right? He's got one year left. So if I trade Russell... Who makes more? Cassian or Hendricks? Hendricks, but I think Hendricks is more useful than Cass. Eh. Will you take this deal? Probably not. I'd probably have to give you something else. I have an abundance of picks. Will you take Anaheim's third and give me somebody you don't want? Ben Smith probably makes a good amount. They both do. How much is... McCulloch's only got one year left, so give me back McCulloch. Take this deal. Man, I don't want to give up my second. My second round pick is absolutely not on the table. But at the same time, do I just trade Sakara? Because I feel like this bear kid is going to be ready soon. Ethan Bear. But before I do that move, let me add... Oops. I'm gonna do that. Let me add one of these guys down here that I don't think will be worth anything. Let me add this Berglund kid. He's a seventh defenseman. Don't think he's gonna be a value to me. Yeah, that's not enough. I probably need to give them Sakara. I can re-sign Russell, and Russell's playing considerably better than Sakara. So let's trade them Sakara. Cassian in a third for McCallick and Nylander. Really, that's I'm surprised that wasn't enough. Alright, now what if I give you Berglund? Really, still not enough. Alright. Mark Fane? No, because then I have to add somebody. I don't want to trade him Ethan Bear, because that doesn't do me any good. Same with Jones. I have a lot of good defensive prospects. Shlepeshev? I'll take back two guys you don't want. Oops. Should give me a fourth. Actually, I can't get a fourth, because you need to give me a player. Give me back Arcabello. Man, I I don't want to give up my second round pick. I think that's what it's going to take, though. Oh, I have two thirds. I could potentially trade. If I give them a second, can I get away with giving them a worse defense one? Actually, I think I'll stick with Sakara, but I'll take Cassian off. So, Sakara and a second for Nylander? Actually, will they just take Sakara? No, right? Yeah, no, I'd have to give them a second. Now, I'm doing this move because I think William Nylander is better value than whatever I draft in the second round. What the fuck ever? Fine, I'll throw Cassian back in, but then you have to give me back Ben Smith. Fuck, man. They're really hard on for William Nylander. I don't want to give up any of these. Anybody else, man. Alright, so I'll leave, I'll leave Arcabello on there. Let's try that. That won't go through right now. What if I throw in this Berglund kid now? Kind of sweeten the deal. I had to put Frankie Corrado on waivers. Oh, man. I want William Nylander, man. He is a low elite, though, because he might not progress, and he's already unhappy. You know, we'll come back to that in the offseason, because I bet he'll still be upset. So let's go back to looking to see who wants... Lucic. 
Um, there aren't many bad teams that want him, and I give him the Anaheim, but I feel like he's just gonna make them better. Buffalo wants him. You interested in trading your first pick, Buffalo? No, you're not. Why would you be? Milan Lucic for a first. Oh, you have like nobody worth a damn though. Could I get a prospect back or something? Um, let's see. Brennan Gully. Gully, Gully. Now, is this asking too much? Trade rejected, yeah, that's asking too much. Alright, well, do they have a. They don't have a sniper right that I'd want. They have Evander Kane, I don't want Evander Kane. Alright, let's come back to Buffalo. Carolina, they don't want Lucic, and they don't really have a sniper either. It'd have to be Jeff Skinner, and I don't think Skinner's good enough to make the deal. Columbus, what's Columbus's record? They're doing really well. They have a lot of overtime losses, though. They don't have any snipers, though. I could probably get... They don't want to trade Sonny Milano anymore? Why don't you want to trade Sonny Milano anymore? I want Sonny Milano. Is he a medium top six forward? He is. So give me a first and Sonny Milano for Milan Lucic. Trade rejected. Just a bit off. Huh? Alright. You only want NHLers. What about Taylor Beck? That wouldn't work because you have too many players. So I'd have to give you somebody of value. Then we'll pull you out. And send me back. This kid. Do it up. Trade accepted. Alright. Now normally I want input on my trades. But that was pretty much just selling the season down the drain. Best lines, seven maroon cats, <laughs> Hendrix Cassian, Pitlick, Packard, Sunny Milano. I'm actually okay with this. I like the Sunny Milano edition because I think he turns it, he usually gets pretty good. I ain't Pitlick, he's not gonna do anything, but he's fine to just stay there. I think he's got some face offs. Ooh, Sunny Milano has face offs. Alright, but that's what we're gonna call that. So now I'm sitting with all of my defense still. It's basically just McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Raquel is all I have left on this team. But I have $14 million in cap space. And I have three first round picks. Now Columbus was doing rather well. I'll do a quick look to see where Columbus is. Actually, Columbus is fifth. Where are they overall? 14th, so they have the four, they have the 16th pick right now. That's not bad. I might try to trade up with one of these first rounders I have. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna do this video. Uh, feel free to comment and let me know your opinions on my deals and if I should pursue William Nylander as well. As always, leave a like for the tank that is coming after this once we sim and come back tomorrow uh, in two days. I think this is Wednesday's video, so come back on Friday to see just how bad we do. And we'll go over how to attack the offseason. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you.